solve the system of equations. We notice that, both denominators are x squared plus y squared. And the numerators are 3x minus y, and x plus 3y, respectively. So multiplying equation 1 by y, and multiplying equation 2 by x, the system of equations can be simplified. Multiply equation 1 by y, and multiply equation 2 by x, the system of equations becomes, xy, plus 3x minus y times y, over x squared plus y squared, equals 3y. And xy, minus x plus 3y times x, over x squared plus y squared, equals 0. And we label them as equations 3 and 4, respectively. Add equation 3 to equation 4, we have, 2xy, plus 3x minus y times y, minus x plus 3y times x, over x squared plus y squared, equals 3y. 3x minus y times y, minus x plus 3y times x, is equal to, 3xy, minus y squared, minus x squared, minus 3xy. 3xy and negative 3xy in the numerator cancel. So the numerator becomes negative x squared minus y squared. The denominator is x squared plus y squared. So the fraction is equal to negative 1. So the equation becomes, 2xy minus 1 equals 3y. Clearly, y does not equal 0. As if y equals 0, the left hand side of the equation is negative 1. And the right hand side of the equation is 0. Which is impossible. Now rearrange the equation, and divide the equation by 2y, we have, x equals 3y plus 1, over 2y. We label this as equation 5. Substitute equation 5 and equation 2, we have, y minus 3y plus 1, over 2y, plus 3y, over 3y plus 1, over 2y all squared, plus y squared, equals 0. Multiply the equation by 3y plus 1, over 2y all squared, plus y squared, we have, y times 3y plus 1, over 2y all squared, plus y squared, minus 3y plus 1, over 2y, plus 3y, equals 0. 3y plus 1, over 2y all squared, is equal to, 9y squared, plus 6y plus 1, over 4y squared. Then multiply the equation by 4y squared, we have, y times 9y squared, plus 6y plus 1, plus 4y to the power of 4, minus 2y times 3y plus 1, plus 12y cubed, equals 0. Divide the equation by y, and rearrange the equation, we have, 4y to the power of 4, plus 9y squared, plus 6y plus 1, minus 6y minus 2, minus 12y squared, equals 0. 6y and negative 6y cancel. 9y squared, minus 12y squared, equals negative 3y squared, 1 minus 2 equals negative 1. So the equation becomes, 4y to the power of 4, minus 3y squared, minus 1 equals 0. The left hand side of the equation, can be factorized and written as, y squared minus 1, time 4y squared plus 1, equals 0. As 4y squared plus 1, is always greater than or equal to 1. So y squared minus 1 must be equal to 0. So y squared equals 1. So y equals plus or minus 1. Substitute y equals plus or minus 1, in equation 5, we have, x equals 2, or x equals 1. So xy equal 2, 1, or 1, negative 1. Now we verify whether they are solutions of the original system of equations. When xy equal 2, 1, the left hand side of equation 1, equals 2 plus 3 times 2, minus 1, over 2 squared, plus 1 squared, which is equal to 3, which is equal to, the right hand side of equation 1. And the left hand side of equation 2, equals 1 minus 2 plus 3 times 1, over 2 squared, plus 1 squared, which is equal to 0, which is equal to, the right hand side of equation 2. When xy equal 1, negative 1, the left hand side of equation 1, equals 1 plus 3 times 1, plus 1, over 1 squared, plus negative 1 all squared, 
which is equal to 3, which is equal to, the right hand side of equation 2. And the left hand side of equation 2, equals negative 1, minus 1 plus 3 times negative 1, over 1 squared, plus negative 1 all squared, which is equal to 0, which is equal to, the right hand side of equation 2. So xy equal to, 1, or 1, negative 1, are solutions of the original system of equations.